uh, hi everyone welcome to the session so today we will solve uh, this interview question okay so we have given that uh, this input is a uh, uh, step of uh, four volts and uh, we have to find the waveform of this vx and the uh, vc like voltage across the capacitor and here uh, we have given that the initial condition of this uh, capacitor is like uh, it is charged uh, to a uh, uh, voltage uh, of minus 3 volts okay and the uh, threshold voltage of this mosfet is uh, 1 volts okay so this is our polarity this is plus and this is minus and this is given uh, minus 3 volts okay so what we can uh, say first so we have to check is there is is there any infinite current okay infinite current is it possible here because a mosfet can uh, like can act as a constant current source or can be in open like if, if the mosfet is off so there is no possibility to for for infinite current okay so there is no infinite current present this circuit so the capacitor across the voltage the voltage across the capacitor cannot cannot change instantly right like it will change like the capacitor will change the voltage across it uh, like in like after taking some time okay not immediately okay so uh, we have two things the the capacitor cannot changes voltage across it uh, cannot change its voltage instantly okay so it will take time so at t equals 0 at t equals 0 the we know that the capacitor acts as a short circuit so if the capacitor acts as a short circuit so the circuit will look like this right this is v in this is ground so if if it acts as a short circuit so v in equal to vx right but this is not possible because if if uh, v in equals vx then uh, what is the like what is the voltage across vc this will be zero right but the voltage cannot change immediately so this is wrong so what is happening is the capacitor will try to uh, hold its previous value so if like we have vc equal v in minus vx right so the capacitor is trying to hold this previous value so the previous value according to this polarity was uh, minus 3 like this voltage is now uh, like 4 volts right this is 4 volts and the capacitor uh, like uh, having this polarity wanted to uh, uh, having a minus 3 volt so if this is 4 volts so this voltage must rise to 7 volt right 7 volt so that the voltage across the capacitor remains minus 3 volts so you can like writing some equation this is this equation so we can find this the voltage will be 7 volt so this is minus 3 and v in is 4 minus vx so our vx will be 7 volt right so what i am telling is the capacitor wanted to hold this previous value so if this is goes up so this has to be go up so so that the voltage of the capacitor maintain okay so we we have seen that at t equals 0 at t equals 0 uh, t equals 0 let me write from t equals 0 let this is v, v, vx and this is let vc okay so at t equals 0 the vx voltage go to go to 7 volt right so this is 7 volts okay uh, 7 volt okay uh, then if this is 7 volt and this is 4 volts and the vtn of the mosfet is 1 volt so we have to check the mosfet is in saturation or is in triode because if this is 4 volt the mosfet is always on as vgs vgs 
is always greater than vtn right because this is 4 volt and this is on volt so our mosfet is always on okay now we have to check the mosfet is in saturation or in triode so we know that for uh, for for uh, saturation vds must be greater equals vgs minus vtn right so what is happening here is here vgs is like vds is this is vgs so here vs voltage is zero right so vgs is nothing but seven so and this is four minus one right so this is seven greater equals three seven greater equals three so this condition is right so after immediate t equals zero the mosfet is in saturation right so we know that in saturation the mosfets acts as a constant current source so what will be the equivalent circuit so we can write we can write this like this right this is a constant current source okay and here we have four volts of input there is vc and this voltage is vx and they let let this is i uh, id okay so a constant current is charging the capacitor so the voltage across the capacitor will be a ramp right we know that right the voltage across the capacitor will be a ramp as a constant current is charging the capacitor and you we can see that this is a fixed volt okay and the capacitor is charging so what wha like how it is possible so the vx value must to go down right so that the vc value will increase as this this v in is fixed like you can see from equation as well as vc is trying to increase but this v in is fixed okay the v in is fixed so the vx value must go down so that the vx can be increased a uh, vc can be increased right so so as as vx is charging as like as capacitor is charging and this v in is fixed so this value must go down and how it goes down it will goes down in this way right like the capacitor voltage is ramp so the voltage as vx will be a negative ramp right so that as 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 the capacitor is charging exponentially okay sorry sorry so the capacitor is charging linearly right because of this constant current source so the the vx value will will goes down in this way right so now plot vx uh, so for vx we know that at t equals minus 0 the voltage was minus 3 volts so let let this is minus 3 volts and this is trying to let let it trying to increase in 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 like in a ramp way right so this will be like this so this will be like this okay so now the at a at a certain time this value is goes like going to down going down and this voltage is fixed so at some time the uh, mosfet will reach in triad region okay so we have to find when it can go to triad region so when we know that vgs vgs when vds equals vgs minus vtn then it can go to the triad region and we know that this value is 3 voltage right as our v in is 4 voltage so when the voltage of vx is 3 volts so let let here the voltage is 3 volts okay so this will this will goes to linear uh, like linear region right so then the equivalent circuit will look like this right at li linear region the mosfet acts as a resistance right let this is our and this is our vx and this is our vc and this is c and this is our four voltage input so this is nothing but a simple rc circuit and this is we can say that simply rc uh, high pass filter so this voltage will go to exponentially to the zero voltage right we know that and the capacitor as steady state will act as a like open circuit so this voltage must go to zero voltage right because this will look like this right 
so this voltage mass like this voltage will go up here so this will be zero volt and here as this is a simple rc circuit the charging of the capacitor will be exponential we know that so the voltage of vx will exponentially decay to zero voltage okay so so after when the vx is three volts then it try to exponentially decaying to zero voltage okay zero voltage and at at this point at this point the voltage of vc what will be the voltage of vc like we know that uh, vc is nothing but v in minus vx and we have v in equals 4 and vx equal 3 right so this will be on voltage so here the v, vc value will be going to on voltage okay this is the positive one so this is on voltage and and it it will try to like like vx going to zero so vc will be exponentially charging to 4 volt right so this will be like this so this is our 4 volts so this is the final waveform because we know that if this is the equivalent circuit and this is our plus minus vc so as this is 0 volts and this is our v in of 4 volt so vc is nothing but 4 minus 0 equal to 4 volt as well we know that this is a like this is basic things right so this is the final waveform so if i draw if i if i draw like in a good manner so this will be like this okay so this will be the waveforms okay this is vx this is vc so at t equals 0 this is 7 volts they need come down exponential uh, like in a linear way and after that it will goes like this so this is the point where it goes to uh, from saturation to linear region right so here the voltage was minus 3 volts let's say this is and then it charge to on volt like this and then it expo exponentially charges to this is a 4 volts right and this is our 3 volts so this is the final waveform okay so you can write this as well okay like this is at t equals minus 0 the voltage of vx was minus 3 volt right so this was the final waveform so this is a very good interview question and this question you can find like professor rajavi's books i think this this is from uh, chapter 2 okay so thank you everyone you can uh, comment your valuable feedback thank you